Hey there and welcome to the Daily Manchester United News show. Let's dive into today's top stories. Manchester United reject loan offer for Hanna Baal Mejberi from Besiktas. Manchester United has reportedly rejected a loan offer from Besiktas for Hanna Baal Mejberi as per Manchester Evening News. The Turkish transfer window still has about a week to go. Eric Ten Hag, the manager of Manchester United, seems to be hesitant to let Hanna Baal leave Old Trafford this summer. Despite being just 20 years old, Hanna Baal made an impression in United pre-season matches. However, the arrivals of Mason Mount and Sofiane Mrabat this summer have raised questions about his playing time. Additionally, teenage sensation Kobe Maino currently seems to be ahead of him in the pecking order. During the preseason, Ten Hag deployed Hanna Baal as an attacking midfielder, showcasing his tenacity and impressive pressing abilities. He also had a successful stunt with Birmingham City in the championship last season. Manchester United already has three options for the holding midfield role in Casimero, Mrabat and Maino. The battle for the number eight spot is expected to be between Christian Eriksen and Mason Mount. The number 10 position is owned by Bruno Fernandes, but Ten Hag also has the option to utilize Scott McTominay in the attacking role, especially given his recent performances for Scotland. Donny Fantebeck is still at Old Trafford, but the Red Devils are actively looking to facilitate his departure. Hannibal undoubtedly possesses a great talent, but talent alone might not suffice at a club as prominent as Manchester United. He needs regular playing time to continue developing his skills, and this may prove challenging to secure at United. It's anticipated that his best opportunities to feature for the first team may come in competitions like the FA Cup and Carabao Cup. As the season progresses, it will be interesting to see how much game time Hanna Baal manages to secure in the first half of the season, especially if he remains at the theater of dreams. Harry Maguire goes viral for making his own teammate in England draw. Harry Maguire's return to the starting lineup for England in their clash against Ukraine marked the beginning of his season, but it unfortunately brought him into the spotlight for all the wrong reasons once more. Maguire completed the full 90 minutes as England faced their first setback in Euro qualification. While Gareth Southgate's team remains at the top of Group C, this game represented a missed opportunity to maintain a perfect record after five matches. Ukraine struck first, with Zinchenko finding the back of the net. However, it appeared that his goal could have been prevented, and fans seemed to point the finger at Maguire. He was notably caught out of position, seemingly fixated on his defensive partner, Marguehi, instead of effectively defending against the opposition. Here is how some fans reacted. A Manchester United fan account expressed their frustration, stating, Harry Maguire man marked his own teammate, which led to open space and the Ukraine goal. Another fan echoed the sentiment, asking, What is Maguire doing? Yet, Another fan used the mistake to highlight what they believe to be a significant issue for England, declaring he is the reason England will never win the Euro or play in a World Cup final. Following the game, Maguire took to Instagram with a customary post-game message after a disappointing result. He wrote on his Instagram, Of course, we want more, but it's an important point towards qualification. Thanks for your support. See you Tuesday. Clearly, Maguire was determined not to let the mistake affect his moral and was looking ahead to the next game. However, one comment on the post couldn't resist mentioning the error, asking the defender if he had managed to find Guehi in reference to his unexpected man-marking of his own teammate. This incident serves as just another example of Maguire being drawn out of position too frequently on the pitch, adding to the growing concerns about his form and suitability for the national team. It increasingly appeared that Maguire needs a fresh start at a new club to rejuvenate his career before his place in the international squad is geoparadized as well.
Borussia Dortmund to make a move for Jadon Sancho in a January transfer window. The unexpected twist in Manchester United's rather lackluster start to the season revolves around Jadon Sancho's surprising absence from the team during their encounter with Arsenal. Eric Ten Hag attributed this decision to Sancho's underwhelming performance in a training, prompting the player to respond by feeling unfairly singled out, dubbing himself a scapegoat. Now, the future appears uncertain for this talented English forward at the club, unless a resolution to this conflict is reached. In the midst of this drama, other clubs are closely monitoring the situation, eagerly waiting to seize an opportunity should the issue escalate. Among these clubs, Borussia Dortmund, Sancho's former stomping ground, where he once shone as one of Europe's brightest prospects, is showing keen interest. They may even propose a loan deal during the January transfer window. It's worth noting that a similar proposition from the German club was turned down in the previous transfer window. Back then, it might sense as Sancho was still adjusting to a new role as a false nine. Unfortunately, things haven't been going his way since. However, a major hurdle in any potential deal remains Sancho's hefty wages. Reportedly earning over £300,000 per week, it's a figure that no other club in the football world is likely to match for the current iteration of the player. If both clubs agree to a loan deal, it's expected that United would have to shoulder the Lions' share of Sancho's salary burden. This situation is far from ideal for the club, especially considering their recent experience with Harry Maguire, who ended up staying due to the club's reluctance to offer a severance package, despite the player's willingness to accept a pay cut for a potential move. Ultimately, the most favorable outcome would be for the dispute between Sancho and the coach to be amicably resolved, allowing Sancho to turn a new page in his somewhat troubled stunt at Manchester United. Mason Mount targeting Bayern München game for return from injury Early season optimism for Manchester United fans has been deflated by an injury crisis that has hit the club hard, currently residing in the bottom half of the table and already suffering two losses out of four games. The team's struggles can be attributed in part to the inability to consistently field the new signings due to injuries, barring Andre Onana. However, there is a ray of hope on the horizon as one of the sidelined players appears to be gearing up for a return. Simon Johnson of The Athletic reports that Mason Mount is eyeing a comeback just in time for Manchester United crucial clash with Bayern München at the Allianz Arena, which marks their debut in the season's UEFA Champions League. The match is scheduled for September 20, providing Mount with an additional 10 days to prepare. Mount has been sidelined for about a month due to a hamstring injury, initially raising concerns about the severity of the setback. Fortunately, follow-up scans have yielded positive results. Eric Ten Hag is reportedly proceeding with caution, avoiding any rush to reintegrate Mount into the lineup to mitigate the risk of further injuries. Should Mount's recovery continue on its current trajectory, there is even a slim, albeit improbable, chance that he could make a cameo appearance of the bunch against Brighton and Hove Albion on September 16, the first game after the international break. Such an outing could potentially pave the way for him to start against Bayern. However, it seems unlikely that Mount will be thrust directly into the deep end against the formidable German champions after such an extended absence. Regardless of the timing, with Mount nearing his return, the relatively minor nature of Mrabit's issue, mainly on the road to recovery and the Scott McTominay showcasing his capabilities with Scotland, Ten Hag might soon find himself facing the pleasant dilemma of selecting his starting lineup. Fulham eyeing January move for Scott McTominay as Joao Palin has replacement. Manchester United's manager Eric Ten Hag made it abundantly clear after his first season in a charge that the midfield needed a significant overhaul during the summer. Players like Fred, Scott McTominay and Donny van de Beek were all up for sale. In came Mason Mount from Chelsea and Sofiane Mrabat joined on loan from Fiorentina. Meanwhile, 
The Brazilian Fred departed for Venerbahce, but finding a suitable destination for the former Ajax star Van de Beek has proven challenging, with Turkey being the only plausible option at present. The United Academy graduate, McTominay, garnered interest from top clubs like Bayern München, Newcastle United, and West Ham United. Even Fulham made a late attempt to secure his services when Joao Palinha was on the verge of joining Bayern, but both deals ultimately fell through. McTominay, at 26 years old, has yet to start a game this season, making only two brief appearances, totaling just seven minutes of action. It's evident that he does not feature prominently in the manager's plans, with former United captain Gary Neville even suggesting that the manager wants him out of the club as soon as possible. However, McTominay's performances on the international stage demonstrate that he can still contribute effectively, particularly in specific roles, especially in important away matches. Nevertheless, if his playing time doesn't improve, there is a possibility that he could depart during the winter transfer window, with Fulham reportedly eyeing a January deal. Joao Palina is expected to be Bayern's primary target in the next transfer window, and some have even suggested that United might consider pursuing the Portuguese midfielder. According to Vigaches, Marco Silva's team is likely to pursue McTominay. During the summer, United have valued the Scottish international as high as £45 million, considering him their most marketable asset. It remains to be seen what price tag he will ultimately command in any potential transfer. Manchester United forced to change the stance on the future of Donny van de Beek. Manchester United's attempt to offload Donny van de Beek on a permanent basis have hit a roadblock, prompting consideration of a loan deal as per reports from Mirror. The 26-year-old Dutch midfielder does not appear to be part of the plans under United's manager, Eric ten Hag. Van de Beek made his move to Manchester United from Ajax on August 30, 2020, for a transfer fee of £40 million during the tenure of former manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. Unfortunately, Van de Beek has faced challenges in making a lasting impression on any of the managers who succeeded Solskjaer. Solskjaer, Ralf Ragnick and now Ten Hag have all favoured other midfield options over him. Currently, Ten Hag's midfield choices include Casimero, Eriksen, McTominay, and recent signings Mason Mount and Sofiane Mrabat. All of these players rank higher than Van de Beek in the team's pecking order. In his time with the Red Devils, the Dutch midfielder has made 60 appearances, contributing to goals and to assists. During the January transfer window of 2022, Premier League club Everton secured Van de Beek on a loan deal, until the end of the 21-22 season, he made seven appearances for Everton and scored one goal during this loan spell. Manchester United faced financial challenges that influenced the club's transfer strategy to acquire the players desired by Ten Hag. The club secured Emrabat and Sergio Regulon on season-long loan deals. Initially, United had sought to sell Van de Beek on a permanent basis, due to financial reasons, with Turkish clubs Galatasaray and Venerbahce expressing interest in acquiring his services. However, given the difficulty in securing a permanent deal for the Dutch midfielder, the club is now exploring the possibility of a loan deal. Van de Beek's arrival at Manchester United had generated excitement among many fans, but regrettably, he has been unable to fulfill the potential he displayed at Ajax. At 26 years old, he is currently in the prime years of his career and is keen on regular playing time. Luis Saha praises the club for signing Rasmus Hoyland over Brighton and Hove Albion's Ivan Ferguson. Former Manchester United player Luis Saha has commended the club's decision to sign Danish striker Rasmus Hoyland over their alternative transfer target Ivan Ferguson during the summer. Ferguson, a lifelong United fan, was linked with a potential move to Old Trafford in the summer. However, the Red Devils ultimately chose to acquire Hoyland from Atalanta instead. Ferguson has been in impressive form, scoring four goals and four appearances this season, including a hat-trick against Newcastle in his latest outing. On the other hand, Hoyland, who was recovering from an injury, 
made his debut for United in their 3-1 loss to Arsenal at the Emirates Stadium on Sunday. Former Man United striker Saha firmly believes that the decision to sign Hoyland over Brighton's standout talent, Ferguson, was the right one for Eric Ten Hag's team. Speaking to Paddy Power, as quoted by The Sun, Saha stated, Rasmus Hoyland was the right target for Manchester United over Ivan Ferguson. Both players have tremendous potential, but when you make a decision, it's important to have no regrets. Hoyland came on for 25 minutes and he did very well. His strength and power were evident and this will benefit United as they currently lack a true target man. In our opinion, signing Hoyland aligned with the club's transfer strategy as he was available for a fee lower than what Brighton would demand for Ferguson. Additionally, the Irish striker has recently signed a fresh five-year contract, while he has the potential to be a star in the future, negotiating with the Brighton at this point would be extremely challenging. As we wrap up today's Manchester United news, remember to stay tuned for daily updates right here on the channel. Don't miss out on the latest updates, so make sure to hit that subscribe button and give us a like if you found this information valuable. Your support means the world to us. Thanks for watching and until next time, take care.